Unit 1. Home Life. Part A. Reading. Page 12. I come from a family of five people. My parents, my two younger brothers, and I. My mother works as a nurse in a big hospital. She has to work long hours, and once a week, she has to work on a night shift. My father is a biologist. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. in a lab. But sometimes, when there is a project, he doesn't come home until very late at night. Although my parents are very busy at work, they try to spend as much time with their children as possible. It is generally believed that men build the house and women make it home. But in my family, both parents join hands to give us a nice house and a happy home. My mother is a very caring woman. She takes the responsibility for running the household. She is always the first one to get up in the morning to make sure that we leave home for school, having eaten breakfast and dressed in suitable clothes. In the afternoon, after hospital, she rushes to the market, then hurries home so that dinner is ready on the table by the time Dad gets home. Dad is always willing to give a hand with cleaning the house. Unlike most men, he enjoys cooking. Sometimes, at weekends, he cooks us some special dishes. His eel soup is the best soup I have ever eaten. I am now in my final year at the secondary school, and in my attempt to win a place at university, I am under a lot of study pressure. However, being the eldest child and the only daughter in the family, I try to help with the household chores. My main responsibility is to wash the dishes and take out the garbage. I also look after the boys, who are quite active and mischievous sometimes. But most of the time, they are obedient and hardworking. They love joining my father in mending things around the house at weekends. We are a very close-knit family and very supportive of one another. We often share our feelings, and whenever problems come up, we discuss them frankly and find solutions quickly. We always feel safe and secure in our family. It is a base from which we can go into the world with confidence. Task 1. Listen to the conversation between Paul and Andrea and decide whether the statements are true or false. So, Andrea, you're going home for the holiday? I am. I've booked a flight for tomorrow afternoon and I can't wait. That sounds great. What about you? Going home too? I haven't decided yet. I'm still considering. Haven't decided yet? Oh, you are never going to get a flight out of here. All the seats have been reserved by now, I'm sure. It's the holiday season, after all. Well, it's not very important to me. My family lives about 180 kilometers from here. I usually take the train or the coach. You don't sound excited about it. Well, we are not really a very close-knit family. I have three brothers, and they've spread out all over the place. We rarely get together as a family anymore. Well, I try to get home as soon as possible. We're a big family. There are six of us, children. So it's always a lot of fun. Six kids? Yes, and we're all really close. 
My brothers are married, so it makes for a very crowded home over the holidays. And there are too many people to cook for, so we end up going out to dinner a lot. That's also fun. Well, at my home, my mother loves to cook, so when we get home, she often cooks big meals. We have leftovers for days. Task 1 Listen to the conversation between Paul. And Andrea, and decide whether the statements are true or false. So, Andrea, you're going home for the holiday? I am. I've booked a flight for tomorrow afternoon and I can't wait. That sounds great. What about you? Going home too? I haven't decided yet. I'm still considering. Haven't decided yet? Oh, you are never going to get a flight out of here. All the seats have been reserved by now, I'm sure. It's the holiday season, after all. Well, it's not very important to me. My family lives about 180 kilometers from here. I usually take the train or the coach. You don't sound excited about it. Well... We are not really a very close-knit family. I have three brothers, and they've spread out all over the place. We rarely get together as a family anymore. Well, I try to get home as soon as possible. We're a big family. There are six of us, children. So it's always a lot of fun. Six kids? Yes, and we're all really close. My brothers are married so it makes for a very crowded home over the holidays. And there are too many people to cook for, so we end up going out to dinner a lot. That's also fun. Well, at my home, my mother loves to cook, so when we get home, she often cooks big meals. We have leftovers for days. Part C Listening, page 16. Listen and repeat. Flight. Reserved. Coach. Rarely. Close-knit. Spread out. Leftovers. Crowded. Part C. Listening. Page 16. Listen and repeat. Flight. Reserved. Coach. Rarely. Close-knit. Spread out. Leftovers. Crowded. Part E. Language Focus. Page 18. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Bats, bags. Kits, kids. Speaks, speeds. Dates, days. Photographs, halves. Practice reading these sentences. I saw some bats flying from the bags. He often speaks at different speeds. She tore the photographs into halves. I always have dates on rainy days. The kids are playing with their toy kits. Part E. Language Focus. Page 18. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Bats, bags. Kits, kids. Speaks, speeds. Dates, days. Photographs, halves. 
practice reading these sentences. I saw some bats flying from the bags. He often speaks at different speeds. She tore the photographs into halves. I always have dates on rainy days. The kids are playing with their toy kits.